Residents of New Richmond have had a weary eye on the Ohio River for a week now, and what the river did in a few hours last night will mean weeks of cleanup once it recedes. Meteorologist Brian Sherman continues our team coverage. As the sun rose Sunday morning in New Richmond and the rain stopped falling, people kept watching the Ohio River, wondering how high the river was going to go. We've been very busy. <laughs> uh, my brother lives down the street on Washington and my whole family has gathered together and moved the furniture out, the uh, appliances up and have just been waiting to, you know, watching the water come up. And even with the water going into numerous houses in town, folks were still out and about taking pictures of how high the water was and checking on neighbors' houses as well, even if you had to get there by canoe. Most places, the water on Front Street is not, yeah, I had to drag my boat canoe. But the other thing is the backwater places, which I haven't been at yet, got flooded much, much worse than Front Street. These high water signs like this one here are commonplace here in New Richmond, Claremont County, as the Ohio River has finally crested above 60 feet, just about four feet shy of where the flood of 1997 was. And officials and residents here in New Richmond are hoping things are going to get better sooner rather than later. It's all about keeping people safe. Uh, we learned a, a, a tough lesson in 1997. Uh, fortunately, I wasn't here at the time, but uh, uh, last night was very reminiscent of, of the 1997 flood when the river was at a high level and an unexpected uh, high amount of rain uh, fell in a, in a very bad location. And even though the water has not reached to the level that we saw back during the flood of 1997, folks are going to remember the flood of 2018 just the same. Reporting from New Richmond, Claremont County, I'm meteorologist Brian Sherman, Local 12 News.